Hello everybody and welcome to some Hyper Universe. Um, today is doing something a little bit different. Now, I recently got a message or something from someone that asked if there was a place to build um, builds on this game. Now, there recently there was a wiki for the game and it looks like it's down since the game went down on the PC. So I don't know if there's a place to get a build from. So I didn't know how I was really going to do this because my knowledge on the game is from me just playing, you know, that's just usually how you learn. So I'm going to try and do a guide on each person going through the whole list of their specific items on their character, reading it and just making sure, seeing if it would go with their kit and then seeing, you know, if it would fit in his build kind of. And then I'm going to go through all the items in the game try and see if it works or if it's a good item versus if it's a bad item or what class would use that item so the first person that we're obviously going to have to go through is uh, admiral w obviously we're going to go in a alphabetical order or whatever and see if i could just do it like that so i do already have his items so admiral w is a um just the basics he's a tank obviously he has high defense and control as you can see at the bottom of course he's um one of the more tankier uh, out of all the tanks he's probably one of the least tankiest I feel like but his drinking ability or uh, one of which uh, I think it's called drink it up is his, probably his best one yeah drink up is probably the best one so let me just talk about him real quick so pirates gate pirates grit is his um passive Owning to his, to his pirate's will, Admiral W cannot be moved by enemy effects. So, movement abilities, I'm guessing probably like, I don't know if it counts towards grapples, but I know that like Green Pitbull's ultimate probably couldn't move him. So, that's basically kind of like CC immunity. Uh, CC immunity. So, Captain Slash, he basically slings his blade two times forward, kind of just damaging them. Uh, the harpoon blade is kind of like a hook, you just throw it forward and it pulls the enemies uh, there towards you and it actually decreases their defense uh, of the enemy hit by 15% if you didn't know that. Black Mark is a blind, um, you kind of throw it and it sprays ink on their screen and it kind of disorients them, but it gives you what's called, um, I, I guess it's called it like blinded I guess and it basically makes it so that every attack they do for the next two seconds does not no damage they basically can't see and it decreases their movement speed by 30% which is nice drink up is his, probably his main tanky item he basically drinks it and it says uh, to restore 10 mana and gain drunkard status for 18 seconds granting the following effects per drink drunkard account increases defense by 10 and increases health regen by 50% max three stacks so I'm guessing you could probably get 30 defense and an increased health regen by 150% this is why he's why he gets tanky real fast N over the course of the game he gradually kind of gets up other people like Volter kind of just BAM like oh my god he's tanky all of a sudden but he kind of like gradually goes up but his effect of being able to pull people is kind of like why you use him anyways you know pulling him into the team is usually really well whenever admiral w takes damage dec duration decreased by one so suffering any inter interference effects will decrease the duration by three seconds so basically like you if you get hit the uh, stacks will start to go down which is basically why people usually die with him because they don't understand that their stacks are going down so basically when this item when this ability is on cooldown you basically want to use it as much as you can that's basically you know the gist of it and uh, obviously release the kraken i don't have to say what that does hentai you summon a kraken does you know 91 plus skill level x10 whatever x7 damage to enemies and it basically knocks them down for 1.2 seconds so you pull them you know big old kraken bam slams them on the floor and they're basically down, knocked down for about 1.2 seconds which is enough to do i guess some stuff if your team is coordinated but you gotta have a coordinated team to do this so with that being said i'm gonna go into his items real quick i have just normal boots that gives defense and movement speed obviously just you just need boots uh captain's chalice so it green it 
decreases the cooldown of drink up by two seconds which is crucial because of the fact that he, that is his main item you basically want to always be drinking it up just chug it down you always want to just chug it down so that cool two second uh the two uh second cooldown that it has on it is really good and it gives you plus three percent health which the health is always a nice stat to have um the next one is uh the burning chain blade which is defense penetration plus uh, defense plus 50 and defense penetration plus 15. now the defense penetration doesn't really matter but it's always good to do some damage as a tank but basically the main thing is the harpoon blade so uh, it's on second by two. It's uh, on cooldown by two seconds. My God, I can't talk. On hit, does two percent of max health as an additional damage every every second for three seconds. So it does two percent of the person's max health as additional damage every three seconds. It's basically just a little bit of damage on top of that. Harpoon Blade itself is a good ability, so you kind of just want to have that two second. You know, which is really why you do it. But again, a little bit of extra damage never hurt anybody. And percentage on health is always good. Next is um, defense. Uh, it's called the Code of the Code of the Deep. It gives defense 35, max health 400. Cooldown reduction is plus 15%. Which cooldown, of course, like on him, you want to have just max cooldown. You just want to be throwing your things out there. Enhance his black mark. So um, this is basically just you know the ink. Boom. In your face uh, it gives it an extra one second and it gives a, ne a negative 30% movement speed on top of the negative 30% movement speed so it's basically a negative 60% movement speed which if you know me about this game I love slows give me the slows I put them on you and I put them on you uh, black ink have a uh, black having black mark on them the ink duration basically makes it to that you know, you have that extra second of them not being able to do damage to you. If they're going to try and box you, put that on, I mean, they're going to be in for a rude awakening because you're taking no damage at that point. Kraken's Heart is basically his ultimate, so uh, max health is 700, which is a big, big number. Movement speed is plus 5%. You don't really need the movement speed, but it's always nice to have it. You, you always do want it to be moving a little faster to get your lockdown down. Increase health regen by 3.5% of max health. That is very crucial because he already has a lot of health regen on Drink Up, remember. So having more health regen on top of it is crazy. Tanks mainly build, mainly get, you know, they only can do how much of their health bar is, you know. But health regen makes them stay in longer. That's why Athena is so strong because the more damage she takes or the longer she's in a battle, the, the more health regen that she's getting. So she can stay in a battle for a very long time, tank towers and shit and stuff like that, just because she's so strong. So, and enhances the release the Kraken. The cooldown is negative 10 seconds, which means you could just throw your Kraken out there. I mean, it's already a, a pretty low cooldown already, so you don't have to worry too much about like, oh, I summoned it. That was bad one. No one committed. It's all right. Doesn't really matter. But the main thing is summons Kraken immediately upon casting. If you know anything about Kraken, Kraken has, takes a long time to actually activate. Making it so that it activates automatically makes it so that you can get people down, you can pull them and then activate your ultimate really fast. Which is crucial because you want to be able to lock them down quick. Like most characters in the game have a lockdown, boom, boom, lockdown. You know, and you're stuck there. You can't do anything. This is the same thing. You want to make it sure that it can't get out. So you just pull, Kraken. I usually do the this ink, just slow them and then you know, slap them with the Y. That's what I do. But we're gonna go into the into the game, see how it works. We'll talk about you know Titan suit and stuff like that another time. But first, I just want to focus on the main characters and their items. So we're gonna try and find a game with Admiral W and see how it goes. A bottle of rum is all on Connected to prepare. To <laughs> all right, people. Here we are. It's weird not doing my normal intro. <laughs> all right. Um. Yes, here we are. We found a game. So, um, the first, it took a while, because the first team we had was not good, and the match was canceled, thank God, because it was looking pretty horrible. This is looking a lot better. Um, it's, um, me as Admiral, Captain Red as, I guess, Assassin type thing, Jack as a Striker, and then Zet 
versus Maya, Draka Khan, Blue Rose, and Yuna, which looks like triple assassin, one support, so honestly, they're they might get stomped in because this is more of oh, I'm so be I should be drinking. I should be. Um it looks like they're new. Their team comp is really bad. So okay. Yeah, I tried to use the tower to my advantage because she jumped in, so. Alright. So me going against Yuna, I kind of don't do any damage to her. So, but she can't clear lanes either because she's Yuna. So. so I could probably out clearer than her, which is probably, it's, it's weird saying because you usually don't, but since she's an assassin, she's really not supposed to be doing a lane, really. So. Okay. Alright, so Blue Rose came down, so I, I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a really weird match. Like, definitely weird. But, um... Like I said during the uh, the beginning, always use drink it up. Cause zero mana. You don't use anything, so it's not like you lose anything for doing it. Just a cooldown, so you know. Why didn't she get pulled? Uh, excuse me, game. Okay. I don't know why she didn't get pulled. I mean, she was in the air, but it's just that it pulled her. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna keep drinking it up. You you really want to do this? Like, do you really want to do this? I, mean, I, t I take no damage. Literally zero damage. Literally. Okay. I guess she tried to trap me, but that didn't go so well. There you go. Should be a death. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, really? Did the minions kill me? Oh, man. Okay, she died for it. That's okay. If they died to, to kill the tank, that's okay. But I think the minions killed me. I thought I was behind them. I mean, it doesn't matter. You know, probably would have gotten to me anyways. But that right there is why I'm so tanky. Like, I was able to kill two people before they were even able to kill me, so kind of lost track of what was happening there, to be honest, for us for a hot second there. I was like, what's happening again? There was a lot of commotion. I don't know. Confused me. Hold on, let me go help, because I'm not supposed to be doing lanes. Damn it. Drink it up. Okay. I mean, I don't care about this. gonna do that. Alright, so me and him survived. I mean that's that's the best thing that we could do is just survive. Because that's all we're looking for. Okay. That's cool. That's not cool. A little less cool! A little less! Yep, there we go. Okay. 
Sadly, our Jack died. But, um, at least we were able to get her, so. I don't care too much about it. In terms of, like, what that. Oh, crap. I blinded! Ah, oh, damn it. Evasion, that's what I was trying to think of. It. I don't care too much in the death there because, I mean, I'm a tank. So it's not like they get much even if they do kill me and draw and Jack got a kill. Sweet. But, I mean, if they want to invest in a tank, you don't really get a lot for killing tanks. I mean, even in Smite, you know, like, we're under-leveled anyway, so it's like, sure. But the damage dealers are the ones we need to get fed, so as long as Jack gets a kill, I'm all, I'm all for that, so. Oh, I should be drinking. I was itchy. I was itchy. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. There's no way Dracocon does any damage, like, enough to kill me. Like, there's no way. Oh, Captain Red died. To who? I don't know who he died to. Like, you think I'm falling for that? Like, really? You think I'm falling for that? Like, what? Oh crap, he chased him down. He really did not care. Man, that boy is tank. Yeah. That boy is hella tank. I mean, Maya probably took most of the damage anyways, but boy is hella tank. Okay, I'm gonna go up. Sadly enough, I can't. I mean, I could. I was trying to tank tower, but Zet ended up tanking it. Kind of lame. It's whatever. Um, let me see. Okay, so six to five. We're still ahead and kills, which is nice. I mean, the fact that they're keeping up with a team of assassins is kind of embarrassing. But you know, I mean, that's more for my damage dealers to deal with because they have to. Right, I don't want to face two people, that's just stupid, obviously. Yeah, I can tank this, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. I can tank that. I'm I'm su I'm super okay with that. And that's the thing about Admiral is that he can tank stuff like that, so. That was a weird interaction that happened. Like, I pulled, and then in the middle of my pull, he downed her? So, like, the interaction that actually happened, or the sequence of interaction that happened there is weird. I thought I was going to pull her, but then it stopped and it went into his animation. I don't know. It would have been better just for him to wait till I pulled him, because, yeah, obviously. would have been, we would have done more damage, but it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. And we got Maya, so Jack is coming on board. Good old Jack. Jack attack. Why doesn't it pull them? Why? Well, that's that's not cool. Very rude. Very rude. Super duper rude, like to stun me and stuff under tower. That was super rude. Okay, I I missed, but it's okay. Just close your eyes. You didn't see that. I think I'm letting you get up this. Where do you going, homie? That rolls in. Okay. 
Wow, you killed yourself. Wow, though. Like, I ain't never seen someone kill themselves like that. Holy. The death on that person is so real. So Jack is doing some damage, which is nice. I'm gonna go up. Like, I haven't really had to return to base, mainly because I'm I'm a tank and I, my health regen is kind of insanity. I mean, if I die, I'll go back to base, but at this point, I'm getting to the point where I'm getting tanky, and I got my, you know, my drink it up ability up, and I got my, uh, my, uh, uh that pool up, like that, and basically, it's getting to the point that's basically like, I'm starting to hurt, so, you know. Okay, there. I was just waiting for my uh, Captain Red. I saw him on the map coming, so. Yep. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> A-OK, -okay, don't worry. I'm the Admiral. Like, even if I did waited for the wall to come down, which I probably wouldn't do, it's not like she could have killed me. Like, she can't kill me. You could, you could grab the buff. You really could, dude. Like, and you really could kill her. I swear on everything, you really could, though. She ran away now, but, you know. Aw, oh, shit. Poor Jack. I should've gone down there. I'm, I'm kind of upset because, like, Captain Red could've definitely jumped in sooner and killed her. Whether he was aware of what was happening or not. Still just sucks, but whatever. Uh, you might die. Okay. Oh, well, okay, that's just passive, so. Oh, damn. Good job. No, you don't. You're fucking dead. Like, you're not going anywhere. What do you think that? Like, look at my health. That's kind of insane. Like, the fact that I took zero damage. And, like, I still have full mana and everything. Look, and I can tank tower. Like, still good. She'll probably, I mean, she might not die that. I can kill you! So yeah, that's basically, like, that, that was a good, see, that right there was a good example of, like, perfect example of, like, what I was talking about. His ability to tank damage, be in the whole fight the whole time, and then freaking get out. Do exactly what you, uh, I don't want to go back to the base, I really don't, to be honest. I kind of want to farm up a little bit. I don't really feel like I need to go back to base. I, I mean, I can regen everything that I lost, but I do want to farm up a little bit and keep up in team with the team and XP and stuff. So, oh man, I don't know if I would have grabbed, but it was close, man. I felt it in my jimmies. Oh, that was a oh crap! I could have grabbed that. I could have, would have, should have, but I didn't. Oh crap. Oh crap. He definitely screwed up throwing his ultimate the wrong way. That was not the move. 
That that was not the move. There you go. Yeah, if he had ulted the right way, we definitely would have got that, but he died, so. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Why did he even come back up? I'm gonna go help Jack. Oh, that sucks. I mean, it's a tier one, it's fine. No! Mm, I didn't want to grab that buff. I'm sad. I'm so sorry. I did not want to grab that buff. It was my best intentions to not grab that buff. Alright. Drink it up. We probably should destroy that wave, because that wave is now up there. Oh. Hi, 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 hi. Oh crap, that was a good ult from that Maya. We didn't have Jack there, which is like, ooh. Although Jack should be with us, but you know, he's not, so. Hi Jack, how you doing? Jack right now is like most of our damage, so he needs to he needs to really throw the cards out there, yeah. Like, Jack, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, man, but like they you really need to start throwing your cards out there, man. Like, you, yeah, like, you're all the damage, man. Like, you really need to start throwing your cards out there, and if you just, you know, throw them out there, it would be good. That's all we need, is you to throw cards. It's not a hard job. It's really not. It's, it's like, the main thing you do with the X button, man. Oh god. Oh okay. okay. I'll tank it all. I will tank it all day. Oh, I died. <laughs> I will tank it all day. Hey, hey. Right there was a good, like, that was a lot going on. But the fights there, as you can see, were, like, intense. But that's, like, that's just admirable. Like, it's, like, constantly fighting and you're constantly running numbers in your head and I gotta drink, I have to do this, I have to do that, and you're like you're in your head so much that it's just crazy. And it's it's fun though. It's super fun. But this was just more of like this wasn't a um This wasn't a match like I normally do, you know, I try to be you know, type funny, you know, stuff like that. This was more of an educational thing, you know? Like people wanna learn the game. The game's new, like on on the you know the console side of things and people trying to understand it and I just want to give it I just want to give people an understanding of which items to use what they do you know people don't really know that and in order to have a fun experience and you know or to build your, your, your character right and have a good time facing against each other 
you always kind of have to, you know, like know what your items do. You have to kind of be like, okay, will this work? Will this work? And that's what I, that's what this is. Yeah, you know, I wasn't trying to be too funny, too, you know, but I was trying to, you know, at least keep it lively. But a lot of times I was just like in the battle, in my head, running numbers and stuff like that. And that's usually how I am. So, but yeah, I hope you guys at, at least found it educational so that way you guys learn something out of it or learned at least what his item to do. So that way, you know, you know him a little better. So let's just run the stats though. 25 to 7. I mean, obviously they had three assassins. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, Draka Khan played well, but again, he's an assassin. I mean, in the end, like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna beat a full team, like a striker when he gets late game as an assassin, unless you're gonna one shot him. So if you don't one shot him, like, well, then you're screwed. And then, it was nice that um, Captain Red had actually popped off. Because Captain Red was... I mean, actually, Zet popped off, too. Was that 7 and 0? I didn't even see that. But yeah, both of them popped off, helping us secure that match. Like, I think Captain Red was probably most of our damage. Um, Yeah, Captain Red... Oh, well, let me see Hypers, Hypers, Hypers. Yes, he was. He 49,000 damage. As Captain Red, actually, that's pretty well. That's pretty uh, amazing. He did, he did a good job. Don't let it get to your head, kid. You're great, kid. Don't get cocky. He did good, though. Um, 44,000 damage uh, on the Zet, which is awesome. He, did, he even did more damage than Jack, so I guess Jack wasn't all of our damage. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, probably late game he was. He was probably coming on late game, but he did get chased down a lot by um, Draga Khan and stuff like that. Maya didn't play bad. It's just... She can only do so much. I'll talk more on Maya when I actually pay her, play her. But she can only do but so much. So overall, we, we, we I mean, everyone played well. But again, assassins, you can't really expect too much because you're just assassins. All of them were assassins. Well, some are specialists, like the uh, Yuna. But Yuna specialists, usually, like, they run her as an assassin. You're not going to clear lanes as Yuna. I mean, unless you're bullying the person, but she wasn't gonna bully me. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm an admiral. So, but yeah, people, I hope you learned something, and thank you for watching.